morning. It's uh, February 17th. And these are our, um, let's see, Baby Dutch Yellow Seed Potatoes. We grew these last year. I put them under the light to get them sprouting out. These purple sprouts were what was coming out in our room, but they're starting to get soft on me. See how wrinkled up they're getting. A few sprouts there, fresh sprouts. So what I'm going to do, we've got another two weeks, maybe three weeks before I can get these things outside. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get them planted inside. And then maybe by the time it's time to go outside, we'll have some root structure on here. What I don't want is for these things to get so soft. Let's get rid of these small ones. Get so soft that they, they rot on me while we're waiting. So I'll go ahead and get these going. And all I'll do, I've got Pro Mix here. I don't have any nutrients other than what's in the, the actual Pro Mix bag itself. We'll just put a little bit of soil in the bottom of the cup. And what we're, what we're doing is tricking these potatoes to think that they're already getting planted in the ground outside. And you can see there, we put a little soil on the bottom, stick the potato right in the middle. And I'll just go ahead and cover these potatoes. Just like that. Tamp it down a little bit. Get all that soil around there. And that makes them think they're going in the ground to start to uh, start to grow. And hopefully, we can keep them from, like I say, you can see that yellowing on the bottom. And that's probably where they're not getting no sun sitting in the, or no uh, light sitting in that egg carton. But we're just... I've got two more weeks before, what is it, the 15th, the 17th now. So I usually start to plant, last year we was able to plant our plant our uh, seed potatoes outside the second or the third week in March. So we're getting some colder weathers today. And I figured, well, it's probably going to be another two to three weeks before I can get them outside. I do have my raised beds where these are going to go covered in some glass panels to start getting the soil warmed up and it has helped and it did also help that for the past week and a half we've had 40s and 50 degree temperatures so what we're doing here is just getting a good start on these guys Maybe trick them into thinking that they're already in the ground getting planted and it's time for them to start putting out some roots. You can see that. They're... We'll just put it down in there like that. You can see. About halfway down. And cover the other half. And when these things... I don't think they'll sprout above ground before... In two to three weeks. But in three weeks they're going outside. I'm running out of room. I've got to get everything ready to get outside. The cold weather stuff. So that I can get my pepper plants going. And I can get our uh, tomato plants going. So we're just trying to keep a jump, a, trying to get a jump ahead on things. And I've got a bunch of uh, Yukon Golds too. I've got the ground covered out there. I did a video where I got the ground ready and for the past week now just about, I've had it covered in uh, some five or six mil plastic, clear plastic to warm the soil up. To keep the rain off of it and to keep the soil starting to warm up during the days with the 40 and 50 degree temperatures we get. 
So maybe I can get those in the ground about a week or two early doing it that way too. So I'll just, I've got these little containers here that uh, I had in the building. So I went and got my cups out of the buildings. These are 32 ounce cups. And there's videos on YouTube. This is called like a fast start. If you want to get a fast start on your seed potatoes, then you go ahead and plant them in cups like this. And they'll, uh, they'll start sprouting for you. Now, I'm not doing it to just get a fast start on the sprouting because they're already chitted out. What I'm doing is trying to mimic like they've been in the ground or, or, or they've been planted in the ground so we don't lose any to rot. There's some nice little fresh sprouts coming out there. So here in a week or two, Probably be about the first week in March, provided we're not getting any freezing temperatures. We'll do a video of us planting them outside. And uh, I'm going to cover the box at that point, probably in some uh, thick mill plastic, and then lay my glass shower panels on doors on top of those, on, on top of the plastic. There you go. And then maybe that'll be warm enough. I've been checking. I went out this morning and checked with the 30 degree temperatures we had. And tonight we're going to get 20s. So we've only got the top one inch of the ground freezing in the box that isn't covered. And the ones that are covered, uh, the soil is cold, but it's not frozen. And that's what will get your plants. If you plant these seed potatoes out too early and the ground freezes, that'll just about kill them if it freezes deep enough. And like I say, March is when we can plant our seed potatoes here in central Indiana. I, I usually try for about the second or third week in March, but we're going to do it a little early. Get them out early so I can make room for my tomato and pepper plants or seedlings. So there you go. I've got four more of these containers. Actually, I've, I've got three more of these containers and enough cups to do all of these. And we'll set these in there under the... Uh, under the light that only has the one bulb in it now. Sorry about that. And uh, they don't need any light now. Uh, they've already chitted out really well. And, and you can see we've even got some fresh sprouts coming out on some of them on the bottom. And maybe within two or three weeks, hopefully we can get them outside and planted before they start coming up above ground. That way I can plant them deep. Now, if they start coming up above uh, dirt, the, the soil here, uh, before I can get them outside, then I'll just plant them as deep as I can without covering all the leaf material. And then as they grow up, I'll just add more soil. Well, there you go. Planting our seed potatoes inside to get them a good start on going outside. And these are our baby Dutch. So we're going to see what happens with these guys. Hopefully everything goes well. We'll keep you updated and posted on uh, new videos. And hopefully within a couple weeks we can get them planted and show you how we do that. Thanks for watching.